All right, today we're going to look at the Intro to Augmentative Communication Binder. This binder was designed by a speech and language pathologist with over 30 years of experience, and it's designed to teach individuals how to use alternative forms of communication. The set comes with 24 pictures. You can also use them for picture matching. So when you first start teaching alternative forms of communication, a lot of times what you'll start with is kind of, what do you want? And so, you might have a burger and a piece of pizza and you ask the individual what do you want they point to the burger you give them the burger or you could start with a scenario of some kind of a snack maybe present popcorn or a popsicle to your student and you would say what do you want they would touch the popcorn and immediately you would reward them with um, a piece of popcorn so that's highly reinforcing and that's why that works really well when you're starting augmentative communication because it's something the student wants and they're immediately rewarded. This book is designed to provide activities that are fun, that are going to engage students and help them make the connection that providing a picture or using a picture is a means of communicate. So these are fun activities that are designed to help students either pick a picture or verbalize what's in the microwave or what's in the freezer. The first set of activities, you'll start by hiding an item inside of the microwave or under the washing machine without letting your students see what's happening. And then you could say something like, I'm going to peek inside and tell me what you see inside this washing machine. And when you open the door of the activity and show your student what's inside, the options of what could be inside are available as picture symbols attached to the page. So the goal would be for them to use their established expressive communication method. They might vocalize the word or point to or exchange a picture symbol to report what they saw inside. So for example, I'm going to put a baked potato inside, right? Here's the options. I'd say to my student, let's take a peek inside. Ooh, what is that? I'd close the microwave door and say, all right, what's inside the microwave? I might only have two options at first. What's inside the microwave? My student could point to the potato or they could hand me the picture of the potato. We could go to the freezer and while my student's not looking, I put the ice cream bar in. Then I'd say, okay, let's take a peek. What's inside the freezer? Then my student could point to the ice cream bar. They could say ice cream bar or they could hand me the ice cream bar picture. This is just a fun activity that helps your student to make the connection that they can communicate by pointing or using a picture. The second style of activities that this set features are puzzles. So it comes with several different puzzles that your students can use to request pieces to complete it. So for example, let's start with the snowman here. The snowman has a hat, a face, a scarf, a couple arms. So your goal is to get your student to communicate or request something for a desired outcome. In this case, he's going to collect the pieces needed to complete a jigsaw puzzle. You can remove and hold the hat, for example. You're going to want to say, what do you need? When the student grabs the hat picture, you reward them by giving them the hat to place on the puzzle. Then you can ask again, what do you need? Your student takes the face card and gives you the face card. You reward them again with the puzzle piece so that they can complete the snowman. And this continues until the snowman is completed. So the first set of puzzles comes with six pieces to create a complete picture. The second set of puzzles again comes with six pieces, but they're more symbolic. So for example, here, we're going to make a plate of snacks. And as you can see, it's not exact picture to picture matching. So I'm going to use this symbol of the carrots to ask for the puzzle piece that contains carrots or 
I'm going to use the symbol of the chicken with a white background to ask for the puzzle piece of chicken. Rows back at the other pieces, you can see that each piece is against a white background and the picture closely resembles the puzzle piece the student's going to request. All of these puzzles feature images that are engaging, familiar objects to keep your student interested and engaged in the activities. And that's the intro to Augmentative and Alternative Communication set, or Intro to Picture Communication.